Spider-Man, No Way Home gave fans their first real taste of the MCU multiverse, with Tom Holland's Spider-Man joined by his two predecessors in the role, Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield, uniting all three versions of Spider-Man as they attempted to contain a number of villains from their respective universes. The movie also leaned heavily into the multiverse by bringing a number of fan-favorite characters back into the fold, with one of No Way Home's credits scenes teasing Tom Hardy's Venom finding himself in the MCU, which runs much deeper than many may actually realize. The Spider-Man, No Way Home scene is effectively a continuation of the post-credits scene in Venom, Let There Be Carnage, which sees Brock and Venom on holiday in Mexico, before they are suddenly transported into a world featuring J. Jonah Jameson. J.K. Simmons, on TV in their hotel room, in No Way Home's teaser, Brock and his parasitic alien symbiote are being brought up to speed on this new world, before eventually disappearing back to their own universe, but not all of them return, with a small piece of the symbiote left behind in the MCU timeline, which is far more crucial than the fun scene may initially suggest, at the end of No Way Home. Spider-Man asks Doctor Strange to cast a spell that will make everyone forget Peter Parker including those closest to him, he does this to close the gates to the multiverse, which he was responsible for opening, but also to protect his friends, ultimately, it leaves him completely alone, since Spider-Man's introduction to the MCU, he has relied heavily on the mentorship and help of more established heroes, such as Iron Man and Doctor Strange, but the events of No Way Home set the character up as a solo act, something that is more in line with the traditional friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. The ending of No Way Home also means any potential plot holes around the introduction of the symbiote, such as why Spider-Man would not simply seek out the help of other heroes to help eliminate such a huge threat, can be avoided. Peter is committed to acting alone, having severed ties with those closest to him, including other superheroes, and No Way Home serves as a warning against asking others to help solve his problems. Peter will also be incredibly lonely making him far more prone to a symbiote companion being able to bond with him, further feeding his negative emotions. The MCU needs to make the Venom storyline a reality for Tom Holland's Spider-Man, or else the entire setup will have been largely pointless. There is potential for a crossover between the two established characters, bring Tom Hardy's Venom into the MCU, but with the small piece of symbiote being left behind by Venom, there is also fantastic potential to provide a fresh, new approach to the character. A symbiote suffering from abandonment issues would be looking for a host, and it would find a willing one in a forgotten Peter Parker, meaning Spider-Man, No Way Home and its Venom setup may run deeper than anyone realized.